the Whitbread Gold Cup is next then. And a good big field for this. This is what we like to see for one of the big handicap chases of the season. The last big handicap chase of the season, really. And the top one is Flashpoint for Leon van Rensburg. has also got French Vacation. Abbey's Rose for John Morgan. Reality Check for Ryan Tamasemi. High Edge Grey for John Morgan. Maritza or Thomas Rogers Resentful. Sadie James Shea. Safin has Rosie for David Robertson, Robin Knight, Darren Thompson, Bucco, Martin Leadham, Lexington Dirty, Vinnie Gerrard, Put the Kettle on, David Hooley, Motafari, Danai, Alex Cherry, Gecko Fuel for Graham Clitterbuck, Opus Safari, Ryan Costello, Labanese for Craig Beckwith, Lexington Eric, Vinnie Gerrard, Lily Branches, David Hooley, Stagecoach, Graham Clitterbuck, and Camp Far Away for B. Fotheringham. So 20 to go then. Called in, and away they go. A uh, very short run to the first, and they're all safely to the other side of it. With Motafari, Dana, and Camp Far Away going to be disputing the lead early on, it would seem, as they make their way towards the second of the 21 fences in this Whitbread Gold Cup. And Camp Far Away has now got an undisputed lead as they get to the second. And over that one they go one or two on tidy jumps, most particularly by resentful Sadie, who's now dropped to the rear. This is the First of the ditches, uh, all over that one okay, with Camp Far Away in the lead and Stagecoach wide on the track in second. French Vacation is in third, then Reality Check is after that one. As we take a look at them going past the winning post for the first of three times from the stand. Two more complete circuits to go and Camp Far Away is in the lead from Stagecoach in second and French Vacation third. Then Reality Check up the centre of the track in the red and the blue. We have Maritza in the green on the rail over Safari in the green and white hoops is also up the centre of the track. Well, they've sorted themselves out now into a pretty decent racing formation and everybody seems to be reasonably happy with where they are. Lexington Dirty is probably the widest on the track. That one of Gecko's fuel, but they're not losing a great deal of ground. And they take this long run then now towards the Two plane fences that caught close together. And Camp Far Away is in the lead. Stagecoach is in second. And there's a gap of a good four or five lengths then to the rest of them. We're just about headed by the John Morgan horse. Abbey's Rose now on the outside of French Vacation. Maritza on the rail in the green. The green and white of Opus Safari put the kettle on. It's tucked in behind them. And then High Edge Grey and Lexington Eric. And Gecko Sewell and Lily Branches. Then Motafari Dano on the rail as well. With Reality check, Robin Knights and Flashpoint next. They finally get to the fourth. And over that one, one or two mistakes. Flat Lexington Eric, most particularly, as they get to the next. And they all got over that one okay, though. With the resentful Sadie and Labanese just taking a share of last place as they come down towards the next ditch, then. And over that one, Camp Far Away continues to lead. And they're all safely over it. And now they'll make their way towards the railway fences with Camp Far Away in the lead. And Stagecoach in second, four lengths back to Abbey's Rose in third. Opa Safari is in fourth. Then Lily Branches in reality check and Maritza Gray and High Edge Gray. And then Lexington Eric. Towards the back, Labanese is now just about the back marker. Bucco's also dropped towards the back as they get over the first of the railways and a mistake by the John Morgan horse might cause that problem. But he got over the second one okay. And they've all negotiated the railway fences. Okay then, with all the fields still on their feet and racing down towards the pond fence with Camp Far Away two lengths clear of Stagecoach. You in turn is four clear of Abbey's Rose and High Edge Grey. The grey horse on the outside, then Opa Safari, French Vacation has got the rail, then comes Lily Branches and Flashpoint and Maritza and put the kettle on. And Motafari, Danai and Safanez Josie also moving through a little bit. Resentful Sadie's made some good ground from the back, then Reality Check. Bucco on the rail is also getting a bit closer. Lexington Eric, Robin Knights, Gecko Sewell have dropped back a little bit. And Go Benise and Lexington Dirty are now the back two as they get to the pond. And all safely over the pond fence. And all jumping well then, and now they'll race towards the straight where they'll take two more fences. One plane, one on one ditch, and it's Camp Far Away in the lead. From Stagecoach in second, and Opa Safari's moved nicely through into third as they get over the next. Again, the two John Morgan horses didn't jump it well, one jumped it slowly, one made a mistake. And Camp Far Away's in front then as they take this ditch. And a slow jump by Bucco towards the back this time. Camp Far Away though. Is setting a nice steady pace in the lead. Leads by two lengths. The stagecoach in second. Three lengths back is Opus Safari. As they come up past the 
Morning Post then with one more circuit to go and it's Campfire away for Boo Fotheringham that leads the Whitbread Field from Stagecoach in second. Opus Safari is third and French Vacation is four. Abbey Rose is five, Maritza is six, and then put the kettle on seven. High Edge Grey is eight, next to Derek nine, then Flashpoint and Safford has Josie, Reality Check and Lily Branches, then Resentful Stadium, Motifari, Danai with Robin Knight's Bucco, Gecko, Sewell, Labanese and Lexington Dirty, the rest of the field then. So camp far away on this long run towards the back part of the track where they take that quick double then the ditch and then the three railways before swinging towards the pond fence and then two in the straight before the finish so it's camp far away plenty of jumping still to be done stagecoach in second but all the field jumping well and all still on their feet as camp far away continues to lead racing downhill towards this next fence then with stagecoach in second big gap of four or five then back to Opa Safari Abney's Rose and French Vacation they've opened up by two Lexington Eric is now trying to leave that pack although Flashpoint is coming out of it as well as they race down towards this double then there with a little more than a mile to go after that real long run between fences and they get to this one and they're all safely over that one as well with Camp Far Away getting over the second part of it with a good clear lead now Opa Safari has jumped through into second as Stagecoach just hits a bit of a flat spot French Vacation is third Abbey Rose is four and then Flashpoint is five as they come down of this ditch over the ditch they go the leader jumped it a little bit slowly this time and is still in front though by two lengths to Opa Safari in second Stagecoach is in third then come the Leon Van Rensburg pair French Vacation and Flashpoint Abbey's Rose is next then Safin has Josie making good ground Lily Brunch is getting into it so too is Gecko Sewell as they come down towards the railway fences then now for the final time and over the first one of them they go they're all safely over that one and they come down to the second and it's still oh there's a fall there is a crashing fall for Stagecoach Stagecoach has gone and another one's down it's the John Morgan horse Joy Edge, Edge Grey so been a drama at the railways then and suddenly Safanas Josie has burst into the lead as they come down towards the pond fence it's Safanas Josie who's now suddenly found himself in the lead by about three lengths from Gecko Sewell in second then comes Camp Faro and the long time leader now back in third then Flashpoint and Opa Safari then Moritz it's difficult to see anything else getting into this now Safanas Josie may way have stolen this over the railway fences coming down towards the pond now then just three to jump in the whip bread and Safanas Josie gets over it and gets away from it really well from Gecko Sewell in second Camp Faraway's back in third Flashborn fall then Opus Safari nothing else in shot as they come down there towards the second last fence this is the final plane fence the ditch is the final fence they're coming down towards it now then Safanas Josie is well clear Gecko Sewell is beginning to close though but didn't jump that one too quickly Camp Faraway trying to stick on in third but I don't think we need to take much interest in the rest of them it's all about this final fence and Safanas Josie gets over it well gets away from it well and has raced it up there up the hill towards London has turned a competitive handicap chase into an absolute procession and Safanas Josie up towards the line pretty impressive winner and running on again for second is going to be camp far away that's a good result for B following on Gecko Sewell is third then Maritza and Flashpoint Opa Safari put the kettle on and quite a lot of them did not get into that race at all and a pretty impressive performance there from Safinaz Josie for David Robertson who just seemed to sneak through into the lead while all the carnage was going on at the railway fences and the long time leader camp fire away running back on again to take second so let's get a full list then Safinaz Josie for David Robertson a worthy winner camp fire away for B Fothering what a big race that was running second Gecko Seal for Graham Clutterbuck third Maritza for Thomas Rogers fourth and the top weight flashpoint was fifth for Leon van Rensburg.